And we'll introduce the quasi Clapeyron equation, which is normally used to find out the latent heat of vaporization. And this equation is given as dP by dt equals to HFG, that is the latent heat of vaporization, divided by T sach, that is the saturation temperature, into Vg minus Vf. So if you know the dP by dt, then you can calculate HFG from this equation. And practically it is known that the value of Vg is very very greater than the value of Vf. So in that case we can neglect the value of Vf. So in that case our dP by dt can be written as HFG divided by T sach into Vg. So we have a pressure versus temperature diagram and we have a triple point here. We have vaporization. This point is called as critical point. This point is called as triple point. This side we have a solid, liquid and on this side we have vapor. Above the critical point we have critical vapor. So in this one we have dp by dt curve is a negative curve and we can write the equation for this curve that is for this and as well as for saturated liquid and saturated vapor and say for example in the vicinity of the triple point the vapor pressure of the liquid and solid lines are given to you in this form that is about triple point we have given the liquid and solid respectively two equations are given one is ln of p equal to 12.14 minus 3000 divided by t. Second is ln equal ln of p equal to 19.79 minus 3500 divided by t. We want to find out what is the triple point in that case. Now both equations when come to triple point then can be equated. So we have 12.14 minus 3000 divided by t equal to 19.79 minus 3500 divided by t. And you can solve this equation. The solution of this equation will be your triple point. The answer will come in Kelvin. So this answer will come very close to 65.61 Kelvin. So triple point for this particular is 65.61. So we have one question asked in 1993. We have to again find out a triple point and we have given the two equation of pressure. So to find out triple point, we will just equate them and we will try to find out a triple point. So if we equate them, we have 15.16 minus 3063 divided by t equal to 18.70 minus 3754 divided by t. So just solve this equation to obtain the triple point in Kelvin. So in this case, the triple point will come out to be 195.2 Kelvin. Suppose they are interested to find out the pressure also. So any one equation you can use. So we have ln of p equal to 15.16 minus 3063 divided by temperature. So this time you have to put 195.2. So we can find out the pressure at triple point also. So if you solve it, you will get 0.587 atmosphere. Because the unit of pressure is given as atmospheric. Using the clausius clapeyron equation, you have to find out the enthalpy of vaporization that is HFG. So we want to find out the value of HFG in this case. And we are given the temperature 200. So in Kelvin, it will be 473. VG is given, VF is given, and dP by dt is also given. So by clausius clapeyron equation, we have dP by dt equals to HFG divided by T sach into VG minus VF. So just substitute the value and solve for HFG. If you put dP by dt in kilopascal, your answer will come in kilojoules per kg. So 32 we are keeping in kilopascal, so our answer will also come kilojoules per kg. So we have 32 equals to HFG divided by T is 473, VG is 0.1274 minus VF is 0.00157. So simple equation and you can solve it for HFG is 1.9. 10 kilojoules per kg. One question asked in 2016. We have given for water at 25 degrees Celsius. So we have T sach equal to 25 plus 273 is 298 Kelvin. We have given the value of dP by dt also. So dP by dt is 0.189 is kilopascal per Kelvin. And we have given the specific volume of dry saturated vapor. Vg is given as 43.38 and this time the value of Vf is not given so we neglect that quantity because in practice Vf is very very small. 
so we model vf equal to 0 latent heat of enthalpy of evaporation that is hfg so again we can use clausius clapeyron equation dp by dt equal to hfg divided by t sach into vg minus vf but vf is 0 so we only write vg so we have dp by dt is 0 0.189 hfg we want to calculate T is 298 and VG is 43.38. So from this we can get HFG value is 2443 kilojoules per kg. Now in this case you can just remember one thing that the value of enthalpy of saturated water is given as HF, weightage weight steam is given as HF plus HFG and dry, dry saturated is Hg and super heat is Su. Similarly for entropy calculation we have to use the same formulation that is of enthalpy simply replace H by S. Hg value is always higher value as compared to Hf value. As far as the volume is considered Vf is always lower than Vg and since enthalpy is given as U plus PV so U is always lower than enthalpy. If pressure is equal to constant then you can make dp equal to 0 and in that case we have simple equation of ds is equal to dh by t that is the one step so entropy is always very low value because it is divided by t enthalpy is given as u plus pv so enthalpy is always a higher value because it's a internal g plus flow work so recall that h is greater than u and entropy is the very lowest value maximum value of entropy may be 9 so enthalpy is always greater than u and is always greater than s then again we can say that hg is greater than hf ug is also greater than uf similarly sg is greater than sf so why are you explaining this property because we have a question based on this one so in general if enthalpy is 2000 then internal energy will be equal to 1800 but entropy will be very small value hardly 6.5 or 8.5 like this so just remember these ranges, enthalpy is slightly higher than the internal energy but the entropy is very very small value. So in this one we have given a table form and what it says that the properties was printed out of the saturate liquid and the saturated vapor of ammonia. Saturate liquid and saturated vapor of ammonia. The titles for only first two columns are available that is temperature and pressure. The other column from 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 and 8 contain data on a specific properties. Now what properties? The properties are energy, enthalpy and entropy. But which, which column contains which value that is not given. So we have a value of Hg, Hf, Uf, Ug, Sf and Sg. Question is asked the specific enthalpy data are in which columns. That is you have to ask to find out Hf and Hg. So if you record this one in the last column is the highest value is 1418. So this column must represents the value of Hg. Next data is 1299.5. This value will be your Hg value. This value will be your Hf value. This is Uf value. So we have Uf, Ug, Hf, Hg, Sf and Hg values. Now remember column number 4 and column number 6. They are very very small value. It means that this value represents Hg and this represents Sf. So two values we have already find out. Then we have Hg and Ug. They are very close value. Hf and Uf are very close value. But U is always lower than enthalpy. See the column number 3 and 5. So column number 5 is a higher value. So it is Hf. If this one is Uf, then last two columns represents Hg and Ug. So we know all columns. The question is asked the specific enthalpy columns. So we have column number 8 and the column number 5. Choice D is correct choice. This question was asked in gate examination. In the same question, he has also asked you when saturate liquid at 40 degrees Celsius is total to minus 20. That is enthalpy constant. We want to calculate quality at exit. So throttling is an irreversible isoenthalpic process. Pressure must decrease. So in TS diagram, we are given the temperature equal to 40 degrees Celsius and minus 20 degrees Celsius. Initially, it's a saturate liquid at 40 degrees celsius and throttle to minus 20 degrees celsius since the initial point is saturated liquid so this point represents 
condition 1 that is HF value and since the irreversible process and entropy generation is always positive for irreversible process. So this point number represents two point wet ammonia. Since the enthalpy is constant, we can write H1 equals to H2. So basically here H1 is HF at 40 degrees Celsius and H2 is HF plus X2 into HG minus HF and all this value to take at minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 20 degrees Celsius. So just substitute this value. HF value is at 40 is 371.43. HF value at minus 20 is 89.05. 89.05. X2 you want to calculate. HG value at minus 20 is 1418. 1418 minus 89.05. So we can get the value of X2 equal to 0.212. That is the answer. Choice B is correct choice. So almost they will ask you the fundamental questions.